While Java is mainly object-oriented, it still has simple or primitive data types. The primitive data types in Java are boolean, byte, short, int, long, char, float, and double. You use these primitive data types in your programs like this. If you would like to learn more about primitive data types in Java, click the link at the bottom of the page. You can combine primitive types to store multiple values in the same container. This creates composite data types like strings, which are sequences of characters, and arrays, which are sequences of element values. You can use these in your programs like so. But what about storing multiple instances of different types of data? This is something that using objects allows you to do. An object forms a container in which you can store any combination of primitive or composite data types, and even other objects. Java comes with several inbuilt object data types. One example is the so-called array list. This object stores a list of numbers, exactly the same as the composite data type array does. However, it also provides behaviors in the form of built-in functions such as size, get, set, and is empty.